Hey, what's up guys? Neil here. This is my pine seal soldering iron. I'd like to I'd like to give you a heads up about this product. Uh, I mean, it's really good. I've owned it for five months now, but unfortunately it died while I was using it. Um, I don't know why it died, honestly. Um, it's been performing really well. And I don't know if it has something to do with with low with low voltage from my 6S LiPo. It was like 22. And normally what we would see is um what we would see is like dc low which tells us time to use another battery or charge the battery yeah um what was happening was that or what happened was that i was i was soldering something and suddenly it died the 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 screen display just turned off so i thought huh maybe my battery is really bad maybe it was dead so i grabbed I grabbed another uh, lipo, 6s lipo battery, and it didn't turn on. I was like, "What's going on here?" So the next thing I did is I opened it, and then I tried to measure the voltage from that core pin, from the DC barrel input jack. It the the voltage was right, okay. And the next thing I did was to investigate and look at every chip cap that maybe are burnt I don't see anything so the the pine seal community that specifically the developer told me to download the schematic and then debug each uh, parts yeah the caps yeah I don't know if I should do that I don't know how to do that uh, I'm pretty sure it's easy using multimeter but that's a lot of caps okay um especially that i pay i couldn't remember how much i paid for this maybe forty dollars uh, i was expecting like a forty dollar product would last really long and i was really kind to this i don't know if if um the drop from two feet from my table yeah here to the hardwood floor a soft laminate flooring actually affected it I have no idea maybe it, it did um, I am really really sad guys uh, I'm glad I have another <clears throat> I have another soldering iron here but you, you cannot set the temperature which is not good yeah so I I'm kind of worried buying another T um, sorry not TS100 I never I've never owned TS100 I'm kind of worried buying um, a pine seal again because of the quality. It looks really nice, right? Really built nice. But like what I said, it just turned off and now it wouldn't turn on anymore. I'm kind of worried about the design, the parts that they use. Uh, I don't like to buy another pine seal anymore. So I'm really, really sad, guys. I'm thinking of maybe i should just get um a ts101 or ts100 and oh the reason why i want this kind of soldering iron is because it's portable and i can use my 6s uh, lipo battery yeah guys i'm really really pissed off especially i think it's around 40 dollars yeah man um only four months five months old it's broken and if I buy another one of these maybe again in five months it's gonna break again I I did some research about um, about this from on Google I did find f a few uh, people who have experienced problems with this and they said that thing the one near the logo the the one on the left theirs actually burnt but mine didn't and also i tried connecting it to the usb it na it didn't turn on so yeah i don't know which part here actually broke and i am really sad um looks like high quality but huh 
Uh, I'm really, really pissed off, guys. Right. Yeah, the fine seal version two. So that proves this is this is 6s lipo capable. The version one is not capable of 6s. So yeah, yeah, man. I'm really, really pissed off. So yeah, I I'm not saying uh, don't buy it, but I'm just warning you uh, because I've seen. A uh, few people now who have experienced issues with these product. Um, maybe just get the TS100 or TS101. I just like it because it's portable. And Iron Station is not portable, you know. Alright guys, hopefully you will... You will learn from my my experience and you'll just buy the TS100. I don't know if there's an other alternatives aside from TS100 and Pine Seal. Yeah, I don't know guys. Anyways guys, um, <clears throat> um, just learn from my experience guys, alright? Alright, that's all I wanted to share. Cool, alright, later.